Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is day number 30 of us praying through the names of God that are revealed to us in the word of God. And today we're going to be praying and thanking God that he is the God of truth. He is Jehovah El Ameth, Jehovah El Ameth, the God of truth. And we're going to be praying from Psalm 31 and verse 5, Psalm 31 and verse 5 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. It says, into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Amen. We thank God that the God we serve is the God of truth. With so many people living in a world where there is no objective truth, when people believe that all truth is relative, when people claim that there's your truth and my truth, that we can literally call on our God and know that he is the God of truth, that he is truth. His word is true, that he is true. He is a God and he cannot lie. In a world where many people come up with what they call alternative facts, you and I can know for surety, for certain, by our faith that the God we serve is the God of truth. And so today we're going to pray according to Psalm 31 in verse five. We want to pray that we will, as the psalmist said, commit our lives into the hands of the God of truth, that we'll commit our lives into the hands of the God of truth. Secondly, we want to pray and thank God that he has redeemed us that he has purchased us with his own blood. And then thirdly and finally, we want to pray and thank God that he is, in fact, the God of truth. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank and praise you for this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. God, what a privilege it is to be able to come to you in prayer each and every time we have a need. God, you told us that men and women ought to always pray. You told us we have not because we ask not. So we thank you, Lord, for these times of prayer, these times when we can enter into your gates with thanksgiving. We can come into your courts with praise and we can bless your holy name. So we thank you, Lord, that you have told us to call upon you and you would show us great and mighty things. Thank you for revealing the greatness of your name to us. Thank you for revealing the might that is contained in your name. Thank you, Lord God, that you tell us that you are the God of truth. And we pray, Lord God, we would commit and recommit our lives into your hands, that we would commit our lives and our futures and our families into your hands, Lord God. We live in a time of people suggesting that there's different types of truth, that everybody is speaking their own truth, that everybody is doing what is right in their own eyes, that the blind are leading the blind. But we thank you, O oh God, that we can look into your word and we can find truth, that we can pray to you, Lord, and know that you are the God of truth. Lord, that we can trust you at your word, that you are no shorter than your word. You will perform your word. You will do just what you said you would do and you are just who you say you are so we thank you lord and we pray that you would help us to commit recommit and submit our lives to you as the god of truth we pray and thank you lord god that you are our redeemer that you have redeemed us from sin and death and hell we thank you lord god that you have bought us with a price that you have purchased us with your own blood that you have forgiven us for every sin that we've ever committed You've purified us from all unrighteousness. For that, Lord God, we're grateful. Thank you for your redemption in the name of Jesus. We pray and thank you, Lord God, that in this time that we live in, we can look into your word, O oh God, and that you will tell us the truth about who we are. You will tell us the truth about what we can be. You tell us the truth about what we can do and what we can accomplish in you. We thank you for your truth, Lord God. We thank you for pastors and preachers and teachers who explain and expose your truth to us. 
that we might live our lives according to it. I pray, Lord God, that when we come across your word, when we come across your truth, O God, that we would not turn from the right, we would not turn to the left, but that we would walk in your word. Lord God, you said that if we would follow you and hold fast to your teachings, Lord, then we are really your disciples. Lord, help us to hold fast to the truth of your word, that we might not be deceived by the enemy, that we might not be deceived by the God of this age, but that, Lord, we would be set free, for you said whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Set us free from lies, God. Set us free from deceptive ways. Set us free from the divisive and the divisive uh, strategies of the enemy, Lord, to try to lie to us and separate us from your truth and from your word. Help us, Lord, recommit to your word. Help us to hide your word in our heart that we might not sin against you. God, we thank you that you are the God of truth. We thank you that you have redeemed us. And Lord, we thank you that you help us to commit and resubmit our lives into your hands. And for that, Lord God, we are grateful and we are thankful. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Today again was day number 30, and we pray from Psalm 31 and 5. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Amen. God is the God of truth. You can trust him at his word. Listen, we'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless you.